Okay, hi and good morning again. It is 11 o'clock here in Istanbul. My name is Kendi. I'm a teacher here on Burbling from Southern California. Today's lesson will be a reading lesson. Although it says reading, all of my classes are in fact speaking classes. So come prepared to speak and don't be shy. I want you to get in as much pra speaking practice as possible for this class. To join the class, you should see a button above the video on the right-hand side. It should be a green button that says Join Class. Go ahead and click that to come in. When you do, you'll be in a Google Hangout. Make sure that the uh, burbling.com video is on mute or closed in the separate window because it causes an echo that can be disruptive. I posted a link to the article or a small short story that I want to go through, we can learn some new vocabulary words and talk about personal hygiene, uh, something that is pretty important to a lot of us. Uh, so Antonio, Antonia says, there's no sound. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Barely, Are you guys barely. able to hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Hmm. All right. Uh, Candy? Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to type in. Can you guys hear or see me? Okay, great. Tharcicio, can you introduce yourself, please, to the class? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I think Candy can't hear me. Nope, Tharcicio, I can't hear you. I don't know if your microphone <laughs> so is on mute. You mute it. Oh my god. Uh, but she muted maybe, me. I don't know, check your audio settings. Mira, are you there? Can you hear us? Yes. I hear you. Mira can hear you, and I can't hear you. <laughs> I guess the problem is with me. Okay, let me try rejoining this class. Okay. So I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to try rejoining the class. Give me one moment. Why you want to learn Candy Arabic? Candy, because can she you can't hear, hear us. Okay, so I'm back. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, yes. can you hear me? Yes, we can. <laughs> oh man, can you I don't think I can hear you guys. Can you hear me, Candy? <laughs> I don't know why. I just had such that I could hear. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I think I can hear you guys now. Uh, Ahmed, nice to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Iman, nice hi. Where are you from? Uh, it's a very Sorry. lively class this morning. Iman, mm, where, nice where are you yeah. from? Can you introduce yourself to the class? Yeah, my name is Imad. I'm from, uh, well, I'm living, I'm living in Canada. But originally, I'm from Saudi Arabia. Oh, okay, cool. And now you're living in Canada? Yeah. Cool. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Uh, Mira? Let's see. Yes? Hi, welcome. Where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Okay. Alexandria, Egypt. Cool. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Omar, Thank nice you. to see you again. Hi. <laughs> Hello. And Tharcicio, also nice to see you again. Thank you so much. Okay. So thanks for being here, everyone. Um, I wanted to do... Okay, so as I said, this will be a reading class. Uh, but it's also, uh, as most of my classes are, they are speaking classes. So don't be shy and don't be afraid to speak up. 
Okay, so who would like to start? I want to go through this article. Um, do you guys, uh, do you, did you all find the link to the document? Yeah. I have the link. I posted in chat. Okay, well. cool. Cool, thank you. Okay, so, uh, yes, Tharcicio, let's start with you. Can you start reading, Kevin? Okay. Kevin has had just finished dessert. It was a piece of dark chocolate washed down with a glass of cold milk. Delicious. He rinsed his mouth and mouth out with a glass of water, water, and then he spit into the kitchen sink. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, so he, it was a piece of dark chocolate washed down with a glass of cold milk. What does this mean, washed down? Did he take the chocolate and wash the chocolate with some uh, milk? Mix it with the milk. Washed down. Oh my god. What's that? <laughs> Does anyone know what this means when you wash something down? Yeah, you can wash down your car, maybe you can wash something down when you put but when it comes to food and eating, are you washing Clean it? Huh? Clean it or something. Okay, you can you can wash your fruits and vegetables, but in this case, uh, the chocolate, he washed down the chocolate with milk, which means he ate a piece of chocolate and right after he drank some milk. And so, um, like literally he washed the chocolate down his throat with milk. Oh, uh -huh. I understand. Yes, I get it. I get it. Then was in his stomach. So, yeah, yeah, like you, you eat chocolate and then you wash it down with milk, right? Uh, sometimes you can take medicine and you can wash it down with some juice or, um, I don't know. So it means when you drink something afterwards and how to help it go down, I guess. Okay, good. Delicious. It's like you, you eat something really dried and then you have to drink milk. Yeah, then you have to wash it down with something, right? Milk yeah. or water or juice or anything. Mm -hmm. Cafe. Okay, good. Uh, delicious. He rinsed his mouth out with a glass of water and then spit into the kitchen sink. Did he swallow the water? Mm. No, he washed his uh, out because he he his mouth out with a glass of water, just making uh, a gargle like a gargle. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, to rinse something. What does this mean to rinse something? To wash. Like to wash, but but just kind of go over pretty quickly with water. Flush. Not really brush is with an actual brush, right? But to rinse something, for example, if you are cleaning dishes and there's soap all over the dish, and then you rinse the dish with water and you just take the soap off. You just pour water over it. You rinse it, right? Yes. It's like kind of just swill. Like... Hmm? Swill. Swirl? Swill. Swirl. Are you saying swirl? This one? Swill. Oh, swill? Swill? <laughs> I don't know. If, honestly, if that's a word in English, I don't know it. <laughs> yeah, it's in English. Swill? Yeah, I think it means the same thing. Swill the ground. It means swill the ground. To drink greedily or grossly. Huh. Okay. I think this is a very old word. Um, yeah, I haven't heard anyone use it. This is the first time I'm using <laughs> it. But yeah, um, okay, to swill. I'm reading the definition now. And to swill is to drink greedily, like really quickly, right? You're so thirsty and you're just drinking it, or uh, grossly, just in a not a pleasant and not a polite way, to drink very quickly and, I don't know, greedily. Okay. And then the example, the unshaven horseman swill the great wine. Yeah, I don't know if anyone actually uses that word. That's a great word. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me a new one. Um, 
All right. Okay. Swill. Uh, not rinsing is wow. not swilling. I guess. Uh, swilling would be swallowing it. Uh, to rinse is just kind of clean it out with water. Lightly clean it out with water. All right. Good. Uh, let's go to um, Imad. Can you? What was that? Like what we do when we brush our teeth. I mean, you put yes. some water inside your mouth, and then that's it. Exactly. It's exactly what we do when we brush our teeth. After we have the toothpaste in our mouth, and then we kind of put water in our mouth and spit it out. We clean our mouth out. We get all the toothpaste out. Yeah. We rinse it. Okay. You can also rinse. Uh, let's say you have a cup and you were drinking juice in the cup and you finished your juice and now you want to put water in the cup but you don't want the water to taste like juice so you put it under the water and you just rinse it out really quickly to get the extra juice out rinse it out with the water mm -hmm. it's like you shake your the water inside your mouth yeah exactly exactly alright uh, Imad can you read the second paragraph he sat down yeah, for sure. Uh, he sat down at the dining room table and grabbed some floss. He carefully flossed his top teeth and then his bottom teeth. Flossing was a bore or a chore. The floss almost always got stuck between two teeth in the upper back and two teeth in the lower front. Finally finished, uh, he threw the fried floss into the trash. Good, thank you. Yeah. He threw the frayed floss into the trash. All right, so fr um, flossing. What is flossing? Uh, it's Cleaning. using the, the like, mm -hmm. you use it to clean the teeth. Clean it between the teeth. Yeah. Yes, you clean in between the teeth. So flossing is the verb to floss, right? I am flossing. I like to floss. Also, it is the noun, the name of the string that you use to floss. White that string. is called tooth floss. Also, uh, okay. So, and he grabbed to grab. Do you guys know this word? To grab. To handle. To reach Ring. for and pick up like this. Oh. Mm -hmm. To grab some floss. He carefully flossed his top teeth and then his bottom teeth. Flossing was a chore. When someone, what's a chore? A chore. Oh my god. <laughs> Ill. <laughs> Regular action. It's an action. Regular action. Uh, Irregular action. I think it's a, a tiny work or a small work, like like picking up something, some... It's an occupation. A routine work, pretty routine work. Yeah, um, I love your answers, by the way. All of them can be correct, by the way. Uh, yeah, a chore is um, something that you have to do, like a task. Do you know this word, task? Oh, I'm sorry, T-A-S-K. Oh, there we go. T-A-S-K. A uh, task is something that you have to do, and usually a chore, when we say something is a chore, it's a task, but also maybe a task we don't want to do. Oh. So c common chores maybe are household chores. So based on the word household chores, things we don't like to do but maybe we have to do, yeah, reluctantly. Uh, a what to do list, good, Mohammed, a what we say, a to do list. A to do list, exactly, a what to do list, a to do list, yeah. So things we have to do but maybe we don't like doing them. So what, what are common household chores then? What do you guys think? Cleaning the room. Mm -hmm. Our bedroom. Cleaning our bedroom. Yes, cleaning your bedroom. Okay. Exactly. Washing the dishes. Washing the dishes. Yes. Cleaning the bathroom. 
<laughs> cleaning the bathroom. Yes, Mohammed. Also making your bed. Good. Okay. Sleeping yeah, these are on all... the bed. Sleeping <laughs> on the bed. Yes. <laughs> that is not a chore. That is washing the dishes. Something enjoyable. Uh, washing your dishes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So these are all different chores. Maybe vacuuming. Vacuuming. Yes, using vacuum cleaner. Yes, using a vacuum cleaner, vacuuming or ironing, ironing clothes. Yeah. Right? Okay, so these are all chores. So when you say something's a chore, uh, you can say, you can use this word to refer to a lot of things. You can say, like for example, this guy, he says, flossing is such a chore, right? Flossing yeah. is not a household chore, but for him, it feels like a chore because he knows he has to do it, but he really doesn't like doing it. Right, so flossing for him is such a chore. All right, good, thank you. Uh, let's go, I guess, um, oh, and what was it? The floss almost always got stuck. Stuck. What does it mean to be stuck? Oh, I had a class last night, my time last night, uh, when I talked about situations in which you were stuck. Stuck, yes. Jammed. Jammed? Yeah. Okay, that, good. That's another really good word. Yeah, jammed. Um, all right, when it, something can't come out. Yes. Right? Come stuck good. between they, teeth. Yes. Stuck, right? When you have food, maybe stuck between your teeth, yeah? And you don't realize, stuck. It's in there and it can't come out. Okay, good. Um, upper back and two teeth and lower. Finally finished, she threw the frayed floss into the trash. Frayed. This is a really descriptive word. Okay, what do you guys think frayed, frayed means? Like dirty. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can see why you would think it means dirty uh, because you're flossing. In this case, uh, no, frayed is not dirty, but I can see why you think that. Good. Pallet. Hmm? Pallet. Frayed pallet. Frayed. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can hear you. I just didn't understand what you said. Uh, pallet. Just put it. Ballet? Ballet? Yes. Ballet? Frayed? Ballet is a type of dance. Pant. Pant. Does it mean pant? Does it mean, huh? Pant. Pant? Pant? Pant. Spent. Ah, like used. Narcissio, yeah. are you using yeah. a thesaurus? What? Are you using a thesaurus? Yeah. <laughs> I know you are. Okay. <laughs> Spent is another way to talk about maybe you're, you're feeling like tired or used up, maybe. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes, in this case, frayed is used, lost. And for example, like let's say you have string and it's very smooth, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now let's say you're using it and now. Um, like, for example, the edges of this sweater, they're smooth, but maybe I cut it and the edges kind of come out like this, oh, right? I got it. Like, mm -hmm. like if you have, um, for example, if you have jeans. Fried jeans. Hmm? Fried jeans, when the jeans becoming old. Yeah, exactly. Frayed jeans, when the fabric, the... Um, the they lose their uh, The material appearance. is coming apart. Right, let's say you have jeans and you cut the bottom of your jeans and then you start seeing the fabric kind of looking like this. Right? The fabric mm -hmm. goes like this. So, yeah, shredded. Okay, that's another good word. Shredded, frayed. Yep, so that's frayed, the frayed plus. Okay, good. I think we have some new people in the Hangout. Arthur, nice to see you again. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Hello, Candy. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, good. Thanks How are you for doing? Great. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. 
Good. So we're talking, this is, um, we have a, an, a short story that I posted. I don't know if you can uh, find it, open it up. We're reading along. Uh, Mira, I would, would you mind reading the next paragraph, starting from He Went? Mira, are you there? Mm. I'm reading. You don't hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Thank you. Can you read <laughs> Again? The, yes, the, the next paragraph. He went. Okay. He went into the bathroom and grabbed his electric toothbrush, TV, and always show people putting toothpaste onto the interior lens of the brush. Of course, that was to get them to use up the tube faster so they had have to buy another tube sooner. Kevin put just a little toothpaste onto the brush. He proused for about a minute. Great, okay. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so he went to the bathroom and he, we know this word now, right? He grabbed his electric toothbrush. Yes. TV ads always show people putting toothpaste onto the entire length of the brush. What does entire mean? Along the length of the brush. Right, from one end to the other end. Toothpaste all the way, right? The entire length. The whole length. Everything. Good. Of course, that was to get them to use up the tube faster. No, in English, we use this word get in many different uh, contexts. And it, we have many different uses for the word get. Here, what do you think it's talking about? Of course, that was to get them to use up the tube faster. Get them. To consume. Okay, use up is consume, right? To use up or to consume, right? Yes. Okay, but to get them. They're talking about television advertisements, TV ads. To get them. To use Cinema. Syllable. What was that? To get them. Anyone have any idea? Okay. In this obtain. case, obtain. Obtain. Uh, to get can sometimes mean obtain. Yeah. In this case, they're talking about television advertisements that are used to get people to use or consume the product faster. Uh, this means to convince them. Oh. Right convince them or to trick them right into doing something right to try to make them consume it right because the advertisement shows oh we put toothpaste we put so much toothpaste on the toothbrush right and it makes you think huh I should do the same right the point is to get you to do it to make you do it all right good Thank you. He brushed for about a minute, maybe a minute, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Okay, good. Arthur, can you read uh, the next line? I guess the next two lines. I want to read, but I can't find out the uh, text. You can't find the link? The text, yeah. Text. Okay, let me screen share here. Okay. And I will pull this up. Can you see it now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, he spent. Yeah, he spent another 30 seconds brushing his tongue. Uh, then he spit up, spit out all the toothpaste and crackled and spit again. Great, thank you. Yeah. He spent another 30 seconds brushing his tongue. Then he spit out all the toothpaste. Gargle the spitting. To spend. To spend. When do you use What does tongue mean? Tongue? Yeah. This is tongue. your tongue. 
a small piece in oh. your mouth that's responsible for talking. Yes, I just realized that I'm screen sharing and you can't see what I'm doing. Tongue is what you you used to kiss someone. <laughs> a small piece oh, yeah, in your yeah. mouth. I got it. It's a French kiss, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's your tongue. All right. Um good. Uh he spent when you spend when do we use this word to spend usually? To spend mm. or spend? Spend. To spend. When is spend? In the time. The time, yeah. We usually use it to spend money, right? I spend yeah. money. Yeah. Also, we can use it for time, right? So he spent. Can I use? Can I use waste for money? To yeah, waste. To waste yeah. money. Waste money. Waste blow time. Blow up money. Waste time. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Uh, okay, so he spent another 30 seconds brushing his teeth, then he spit out all the toothpaste. Gargled. Ahmed, you mentioned, you said this word earlier. What's to gargle? To gargle, to swallow an amount of water or uh, medicine inside your mouth and not to swallow it in your uh, stomach, but uh, rinse your, your whole mouth by this water or medicine. Then you spit it out. Uh, uh, ex uh, exported from your mouth. Yeah, exactly. I think it's when you shake the water using your throat. Yes, that's a really nice way of describing it. Absolutely, mix it around in your throat and then spitting it out, not actually swallowing it. Yeah, good. Okay, and then I guess let's go to someone. Ahmed, can you read the last paragraph? Of course. Brushing and flossing are such a pain. He thought if, he, if they can put a man on the moon, why can't they invent something easier and faster than toothpaste and dental floss? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. What do you guys think? Let me unshare my screen. Okay, so uh, any first of all, any questions on this article or any words that uh, we don't know or you wanted to go over? No, no. Okay. Oh, Imad said okay. invent. Can someone explain invent? Yes, invent. invent to create, create something. To, to create something. Create to create. To create. Yeah. Something. Exactly, to create. Can someone just create something else for us? Can someone make something else for us that's easier than tooth floss and uh, a toothbrush? That was what it was, right? Toothpaste and dental floss. Um, what do you, is this difficult? Do you guys think brushing and flossing is a chore? Is such a pain? No. Not it's really. a habit. It's not a pain. Is it yes, but flossing is uh, really difficult. I hear it. What? It, flossing is difficult? Yes, flossing. Because I don't use to uh, do it, but uh, last year I spent uh, 4000 just to clean and uh, do the root canal in my, my tooth. And the dentist says you have to do it. You have to do flossing. Uh, <laughs> I do it, but reluctantly. It's uh, too difficult. So what do you call that? It's such a... A chore, yeah. <laughs> yeah, such a chore. Is it difficult because the act of doing it is difficult, or is it difficult because if you are not in the habit of doing it? Yeah, I'm not in the habit. Yeah. Try to make pain things in your life to be a habit. If you, it will become habit, you will be very happy. What was that? Try uh, to convert uh, things in your life, pain things in your life to the habit. If you convert it to habit, it will be happy. You would be happy. Yes, try to change the habits. Exactly. They say. I think it's because you're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you're not in the habit of doing something, it can be difficult. 
they say, and I don't know if this is true, but maybe you guys have some personal experience with this, um, that to make a habit or to break a habit, um, you need three weeks, 21 days of doing it consistently, and you will be in the habit. So they say, for example, if you want to quit smoking, well, for quitting smoking, they say that the first three days are the most difficult. Uh, but anyway, after 30, after 21 days, after three weeks, you will be out of the habit of doing it. Or if you want to stop biting your nails, or um, that's stopping a habit or breaking a habit. Now you can make a habit if you do something every day for 21 days. It will be programmed as a habit in your brain. This is what they say. Does anyone have any experience with this, making or breaking a habit? But nicotine was still in their body for about 19 day, 90 days. What did you do for 19 days? No, what you are talking about uh, uh, cigarette quitting, cigarette mm -hmm. smoking quit, uh, quitting. So, but in the when we uh, look at uh, scientific uh, look about this, it will uh, consume about 90 days. To get rid of all nicotine in your body. Oh, okay, so maybe it's saying that it takes 90 days to get rid of all the nicotine in your body. Um, but I'm talking about the actual habit from people that I know um, that want to quit smoking. Sometimes they just really they're just in the habit of this action right here. Their body is just in the habit of doing this, or maybe. When they have a drink, uh, maybe they have some wine or they have a drink of alcohol or after they eat or in the morning. Some people are in the habit. They wake up in the morning and they think they need a cigarette, right? Just habit. First thing that they do without even thinking about it. That's So I'm talking about making or breaking a habit. I don't know about the scientific evidence of detoxifying your body. But just this habit of doing something at a certain time. Every and day. what about the addiction? Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so okay, let's talk about something maybe that's not physiologically addicting. Let's say you are in the habit of um, I don't know what are some bad habits. I can think of a couple different ones. Maybe biting your nails, or like Iman said, he's not in the habit of flossing, right? Are you in Blessing. the habit of it now? Blessing. What was that, sir? For, for Muslims, for Muslims, there are uh, al fajr prayer, pray every day. It's uh, be very early at 5 p.m. So if you try to wake up at this time or before, uh, you can do it every day uh, in easy. Okay, yeah, 5 a.m. in the morning? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, waking up early. That's another really good one. For example, for whatever reason, maybe if you want to pray or if you need to exercise or if you have work to do, or so, waking up early in general if you are not in the habit of waking up early, it can be difficult. But yes. Mira, you say that you wake up early every day? Yes. Is this more normal to you now? Yes. It's easy. My, my mind wake up uh, alone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Without, exactly. clock, without anything. Exactly. Good. Now you, your mind, your brain, your body is in the habit of waking up early. Every day. Yes. What if you don't wake up early? What if you sleep in, the opposite of wake up early, what if you sleep in until 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock every day? Do you think it would be difficult to wake up at 5 in the morning? No, no. No, it's just, it's just easy like that? I sleep uh, 2 p.m. I can wake up at uh, 5 p.m. and pray, then I can sleep again. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. please. You just um, have a mistake. 5 a.m. is a prayer. If you in an 8 a.m. 
you can yes okay yeah so 5 a.m. is in the morning and 5 p.m. is in the afternoon okay good uh, Ahmed what time do you wake up in the morning usually Ahmed, what time do you usually wake up in the morning? Can you hear me? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Ahmed, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, Tharcicio, what what was your can you explain your habit that you ended up breaking? You had a habit but you broke it. Right? Bro broke, uh, bro it. broke it. What was yeah, this habit? I was, I was used to take a walk and run every day. At, no. Oh my god, how can I say it in English? Mm. <laughs> I was used. I to used take a walk. to. I used to take a walk. Yeah. And run every day at six, at five a.m. at five a.m. Every wow. day. Wow. Uh, and for how long you. did you do this? <laughs> well, what? And how long did you do this? I think I did it for five months. Wow. So why did you break this habit? I don't know. I get lazy. <laughs> I got lazy. I got lazy. Mm -hmm. uh, was this easy after some time? Was it easy to just wake up and go? Did it feel automatic? I did it automatic. I just wake up and, you know, I don't know <laughs> how to say it. Oh my yeah. god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just woke up and you just went. I went and I put some music in my phone and just run away. And just ran. Ran away. <laughs> if you run away, you leave home. You go somewhere. I don't know where you go and you don't come back. Oh, it don't. <laughs> so, so I ran. You just, yeah, and just ran. ran. Exactly. Okay. Ran Good. Out leave. Good. Okay. Um, uh, all right. So you guys were both in the habit of waking up early. Um, also for those of you like Mohammed and whoever else who are participating that are not in the class from the Burbling chat box, feel free to share with us any habits that you've made or broken in your life just to share your experiences. That would be great. This short story talks about um, personal hygiene practices. Do you guys know what hygiene? Personal hygiene is? What the word hygiene is? Mira? Yes? Do you know what personal hygiene refers to? Personal hygiene? Yeah. Excuse me, can you explain? Oh, okay. I was wondering if you knew. Uh, Tharcicio, do you know what personal hygiene refers to? What does it mean? All right. So personal hygiene refers to different practices or things that you do to stay healthy. Exactly. Mohammed has the right idea. Things that you do to stay healthy. So, for example, examples of personal hygiene can be washing your hands, regularly washing your hands or like in this story brushing your teeth and flossing staying clean and healthy uh, bathing bathing regularly taking a shower or bath uh, washing your hair That's yes when one. when I wake up every day I, I take my shower to be fresh and when I go to sleep do the same to to be calm in my sleeping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So example. something like this, uh, and also uh, we have five prayer uh, pray uh, every day uh, at several time. So we um, we make uh, brush all the uh, 
the body, like my our face, our hair, our hands, our legs. Uh, so uh, every time, <laughs> maybe uh, we we do the hygiene to to the prey. Also, we do the same for our health. Mm -hmm. Good, exactly. So, would you say that hygiene is very important to you? Yes, for sure. <laughs> How <Yeah>. come? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, just I mean, live without taking a shower and washing my hair every day. What was that, Tarcicio? Our our prey yeah. uh, allow us to do this at five times every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you exactly. pray five times. Yes, we pray oh five God. times, five five p.m. and twelve p.m. and uh, three uh, a.m. and uh, six uh, a.m. and uh, seven and a half uh, a.m. Good, Mir. I so think we you should. Yes. I don't pray anymore. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, for Muslim we have five pray every five day. Prayers. Yes. It's mm -hmm. because of your religion. Yes, it's uh, uh, we should uh, we should make uh, something uh, called wudu. Do you, do you know what is the meaning of wudu? Yeah, I know. It's from Africa, in it. No, it's <laughs> to Muslim in all over the world, not for Africa. Wudu. <laughs> We wash our our mouth, our nose, our face, our hair, our hands, our legs every five times every day. Oh. We should do this before go to prayer. I understand. Do you get it? Yeah. Do you get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is for Muslims only. I don't know for uh, for other religion. That's a really good way of explaining it. You did a really good job. Uh, thank you for doing this. And also, it's so lovely to hear you guys, as in the students, just talking to each other. This is the point, right, to just share uh, information and learn from each other in these chats. So I really love these conversations that you guys have. Um, I encourage you guys to ask each other questions about anything uh, anytime during the class, because that's just part of learning. Um, uh, Mira, I think though you were mixing up AM and PM. You had the times right, but AM is used for the morning, so you wake up at 5 AM, and yes. then <laughs> PM is used for the this afternoon. This is my mistake. Yeah, no, it's this fine. Is my it's, mistake. Uh, <laughs> confusing because so many people are on a 24-hour clock and they don't deal with a.m. and p.m. So it's no, so Al-Fajr at 5 a.m. Yeah, yes. and then 12 p.m. So it yes. starts, uh, 12 p.m. is also what we say noon in the uh, in the middle of the day. This is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry oh. for that. <laughs> Don't be sorry, it's confusing, <laughs> I know. Um, it's just like for me sometimes in the, in the in the beginning, I had to get used to the 24-hour clock, and that was a little confusing in the beginning for me too. Even though it's pretty simple, uh, I'm so speaking English a little bit. I'm sorry for that. You you speak English wonderfully. <laughs> you, all of your English is really good. Um, Samir, you just joined, and you've been so quiet since you've joined. Can you hear us? Again, again please. Yes. yes. Uh, again. Oh, I was asking Samir. Welcome. It's nice to see you again. Yes, I just come in yeah, for a few minutes. Okay. Um, all right. So we're talking about. Uh, I don't know. Were you following in the discussion? No. Okay. So we're talking about different personal hygiene practices, um, and some of them being kind of a chore. Do you have any personal hygiene practices that are a chore for you? That are not fun? Oh. Do you, you mean you a, ha a habit or uh, like this? Hmm? Do, do you mean a habit or what? Yeah, habits. Personal hygiene habits. For example, um, 
some, for example, hygiene can also talk about taking care of your nails, your hands and nails. And I know I need to do it, um, but for me it's a chore. I don't enjoy painting my nails, <laughs> but I do it for work. Uh, so for me it's a chore. Some people really like to do it. I don't know. For me, it's a chore that I do, <laughs> that I don't enjoy, but I do it. So do you have any, uh, I don't know, practices that are a chore for you? Maybe not right now. Uh, uh, serving, uh, holding the Facebook. I really every day holding Facebook and uh, uh, spend all uh, maybe all day in Facebook. Six hours, five hours. Um, that's my uh, Face so uh, opening up. You are in the ha you are in the habit of opening up Facebook, and this is yes. a chore for you to check your Facebook. Yes, every day I should after I up I should open the Facebook. So why do you have a Facebook if you don't like checking it? What? Why do you have a Facebook if you don't like checking it? No, no I, I, I check up. I check, uh, I check my Facebook every day. That's my habit. Oh, okay. Nice. All right. Have you had any habits in your life that you made? Did you make a habit out of doing something or did you break a habit? No. Yes, I, I, uh, we, uh, I, the prayer, I pray five. Times that's maybe a religion habits. That's not habits that I should do. Yeah. Because I'm yeah. Muslim, I should do. That's that's maybe not habit. That's I should do. Okay. Yeah. Mira actually uh, gave us a really nice explanation of that. Yes. Uh, that was really cool. Okay. Have you ever broken? Has anyone ever broken a habit? Um, in their life. Maybe I also have uh, a bad uh, habit. Mira, oh, I'm sorry, I... Samir. Mira, I'm just gonna go ahead and mute you just for a second. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no, no problem. But uh, uh, it was a little difficult to hear. I think you have a child in the background and. Children are in a problem. That's no problem. But if you want to say something, just go ahead. Okay, Samir, continue. I uh, I said I have a uh, bad uh, I have a bad uh, habits. I want to bro broke this bad habits. Uh, I want to uh, going to sleep uh, early to wake up early. That's um, I want to bro uh, broke this uh, because uh, every day I try to uh, sleep uh, early, I can't, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Maybe I stay up uh, until the afternoon, the next day. I don't uh, sleep. I don't know. Is this a Why? difficult habit to break? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now I'm um, studying at your university. Some 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 uh, uh, some days I absent from my college. What time are your courses? Do you end up missing your courses? Uh, no, I go to uh, university. Uh, some uh, three, uh, three days or four days a week. Uh, in the morning. So sometimes I don't go to the university because I I don't I don't sleep at the night. You know I sometimes you know, I spend all my time with the uh, internet, with Facebook. Sometimes I I I I, I was in outside out, out home outside home with my friend and come back to home uh, pretty late. So I sleep uh, very late. Then I absent from my college. Wow. Okay. That sounds like a difficult 
habits break. What are you going to do when you get a job and you have to wake up in the morning? Are you maybe, going to look for a night job? Yes, maybe if I got job, I should. Maybe if I got job, I I will uh, I will just this habit. Hmm. This, okay. This habit. Yeah, and I think, I don't know if anyone's ever experienced this, but I think it just uh, takes a couple days, maybe a week, to get used to it. But, uh, um, yeah, I think you can uh, make a new habit or get a uh, break this habit after a couple days. I don't know. We were talking about it takes 21 days to make or break a habit, and I was wondering if anyone has ever experienced this. Our CCO is talking about a habit in the verb link chat box, although I don't know if I would consider that a habit so much as, um, I don't know, maybe an illness. Uh, one of my friends had the same thing. She did the same thing, so I don't know if it was maybe habit. I stopped. I stopped. All right. Did you, uh, was it difficult to stop? No, no, no. I really don't. Just one day you said, mm, I don't feel like this anymore. Uh, I don't want it. Oh my god, and that were there was a hole in my head, you know. Like mm -hmm. really yeah. ugly hole. Um, and when it when it starts to grow up, it started to grow up black. Grow out. When it started to grow, grow out. out. Yeah, grow out black. Mm -hmm. Different color, you know. And my hair is brown, bright brown. Interesting. How long did it take for you to stop this habit? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, do we have any uh, other last-minute questions or comments before uh, the class ends? We have a couple more minutes left. Do any of you have any... <laughs> Mohammed just shared a habit. Is it a habit or is it a feeling that you you just feel like you have to do this? <laughs> is it when your legs sometimes we say your legs or your arms or your hands can fall asleep? Do you know this feeling? When a part of your body falls asleep? Oh, I had it a lot of time. What does that feel like? I don't know. I, I feel the impact, you know. It's like you're really fa falling and you feel the impact. Uh -huh. Like when your foot falls asleep, for example, it's like you can't feel your foot and it feels like there are many needles inside of your feet. Right? Yeah, being numb. Exactly, exactly, Mohammed. Mohammed, by the way, I really appreciate your participation outside of the Verbling class We're using the Verbling chat box. It's been really great. Um, any other last minute comments or questions from you guys? Uh, may I ask you, Kandi? Sure. Uh, do you make a class for a beginner? What was this? Do you make a, a, a class for a beginner? beginner? Beginner class. Oh, do I have classes for beginners? Yeah, um, yes. Sometimes, uh, yeah, I have some grammar classes lined up. Uh, if you want, I don't know, Samir, if you follow me on Verbling or if you are connected to my Facebook, but yes, you can. I follow or you, you can, uh, Okay, good. Also, you can leave me feedback, and this goes for the rest of you as well. There's a link below the video on verbling.com and it says teacher feedback or student feedback and it's basically a place where you guys can give me opinions on the class and also to let me know if you want to see something specific or not um, and I will definitely read over those comments and hopefully make these classes really enjoyable for you guys okay. thank you. sure so thank you guys so much for your participation thanks for joining me this morning thank you and Candy yeah, thank you. And it was really nice seeing some of you again. And I hope you have a nice morning or afternoon or evening wherever you are.
Okay. Thank okay. You guys. See you yeah. soon, Katie. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Thank, Thank you, Kendra.